are. Uh, but for now, let's go to some of the other stories that we have prepared for you about the Shenzhou 7. It will be China's first ever mission involving a spacewalk, but exactly how that is being done, how it is being prepared for, we have our reporter Xu Chun has the story. Behind me is the Shenzhou 7, but it doesn't look very different from Shenzhou 6. Uh, we can see the lower part is the propelled part, and then the return kit, and then the orbit kit. Uh, but on the very top of the orbit kit, we can see a very small red box, which is the accompanying uh, satellite. And then on the uh, orbit kit, uh, we can see the handles. Uh, those handles will be used by the astronaut when they walk out of the orbit kit. The orbit module on Shenzhou 7 is what makes the spacewalk possible. It's composed of a living module that houses the astronauts and an airlock that enables them to go out the spacecraft. After two astronauts enter the airlock, the door to the living module closes. Here the astronauts put on their space suits which are powered by the orbit module. After air is sucked out of the airlock, one astronaut steps out of the spaceship. This is to see whether a human being is able to adapt to the environment in space. The walk will provide lots of information in terms of the impact on the astronaut in space. The astronauts will also conduct scientific experiments. Inside the module are many handles and runs. These make it easier for the astronauts to move around. Three astronauts will take part in the Shenzhou 7 mission, one more than the mission for Shenzhou 6. They will stay in space for at least three days. That means the equipment in the living module have to be installed in a more reasonable way to spare more space for the astronauts working inside the module and for enough food and water to be used at least five days. Opening and closing the module's hatch in space can be a problem, considering it has to be done in total vacuum under extreme temperature variations with zero gravity. If the hatch is not closed properly, catastrophe can result. The hatch opening and closing have been tested many times in a simulated space environment under high and low temperatures as well as low pressures. Now we've accumulated extensive data on the hatch's performance in space. To ensure their safety, officials in charge of the program have come up with no less than four emergency procedures and 30 contingency plans which cover just about every aspect of the spacewalk. Shao Chen, CCTV, Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center.